is working capital management. Any company will use it as short-term asset and short-term finance sources of any carry out daily business from time to time. It is the kind of management of such as an asset and liabilities that is called working capital management. Working capital management is a typical part of financial management as a discipline. It can also be compared with the long-term decision-making process as both areas involve analysis and risk analysis of a risk and profitability any company from time to time. Type of working capital. First is a gross and net working capital. The total current asset called total working capital. And the difference between the current asset and the current liabilities is called net working capital. Second is a permanent working capital. This is a type of working capital. It is the minimum amount of working capital that must be invested. In all cases, a certain amount of cash, stock, or an account receivable is always locked. This asset is necessary for the company to conduct a daily business, such as fund come for the long-term source and the necessary for the business operation and existence. Third is a variable working capital. Due to the various factors, the working capital requirements of commercial companies may increase or decrease from time to time. Such variable funds come from a short-term source and called a, var a variable working capital. Objective of working capital management. First is maintaining the working capital operation cycle and ensure its smooth operation. Second, meditating the cost of a capital. Third, maximizing the return on current asset investment. Capital cycle. The working capital cycle it refers to the amount of times it takes into the net of current assets and current liabilities to cash. Working capital cycle is the amount time between the payment for goods suppliers and the receipt of cash that gather from the sale of the same products or goods. The longer the cycle is, the longer the business is trying up capital. Capital is working in the capital without earning a return. There are main following elements of which the working capital cycle is comprised of cash. Cash refers to the funds available for the purchase of products. Cash is to maintain a healthy level of liquidity with some of buffer that always the best practice. It is very important to maintain the reserve. The reserve found, which can be consumed when, when there is a lack of cash and flow for some reason and the loss of reserve cash, the day-to-day -day business will prevent. Some of opportunities spring up. Some case, the loss of reserve case cash can be barrier. Creditors and debtors. Creditors refers to the account payable, refers to the amount that has been paid to the suppliers for the purchase of goods or services. Debtors. Debtors refers to the account that receivables. It refers to the amount that collect to provide goods or services. Inventory. The inventory is refers to the stock that holds. Inventory are integral component of working capital and cautious planning and proper investment is needed to maintain the inventory in a healthy state of affairs. Management of inventory has to order and involves a trade off between cost and risk factors. Maintaining a great inventory has its conduct costs that including include lacking of funds, increased main maintenance and documentation costs and increased cost of storage. Aside from this, these things, there is also a chance that can be damaged to the stored goods. It is extremely important.
to maintain the inventory at optimum level, which can be arrived at after con after cautious analysis and a bit of ex experimentation. Piece of a healthy working capital cycle. It is essential for business to maintain a healthy working capital cycle. The following points are necessary for the better functioning of the working capital. Sourcing of raw materials. So, source of raw materials is the new point for most firms. It should be secured that the raw materials that are needed for producing the desired goods are available, are available at all times. In a healthy working capital cycle, manufacture ideally should never end because of the shortfall of raw materials. Production planning. Production planning is another es essential order that needs to be addressed. It should be ensured that all conditions conditions that are needed for the production to, sh to start are need. A, co a conscious constructed plan need to be present in order to facilitate the risk and prevent unexpected issues. Proper planning of production is important for the production of goods or services and is one of the primary principles that must be obeyed to achieve, to achieve smooth functioning of the whole production life cycle. Selling. Selling to produce good as soon as possible is another purpose that should be continued with utmost urgency. Once the goods products are moved into inventory, the main focus should be selling the product as soon as possible. <coughs> Payout and collections. The accounts receivables need to be gathered on time in order to maintain the, the flow of cash. It is also very essential to ensure timely payouts to the creditors to ensure smooth functioning of the business. Liquidity. Maintain the liquidity along with some room for adjustment is another essential order that needs to be keep in mind for the better functioning of the working capital cycle. Just to working capital management, in most circumstances, short-term interest rates are less expensive than long-term interest rates. This is owing to the fact that the short-term loans have higher premium. As a result, borrowing working capital from the long-term sources is more expensive. However, in the case of short-term financing, the risk component is bigger variation and financing rates are a primary cause of cohesion in the case of short-term sources. There are three mainly strategies that can be employed in order to manage the working capital of each Strategies takes into consideration the risk and profitability factors has its share of pros and cons. It includes, first, the conservative approach. As the name implies, the conservative approach entails little risk and low profit. Aside from the permanent working capital, the variable working capital is also financed through long-term sources in this method. As a result, the cost of capital will rise. It does not ever mean that the dangers of interest rate changes are greatly. Second, the aggressive approach. The main goal of this strategy is to maximize profits while taking higher risk. In this approach, entire variable working capital, some parts of the entire permanent working capital, and sometimes the fixed assets are funded from the short-term sources. Three, the moderate or the hedging approach. This approach involves moderate risk along moderate involved and moderate profitability. Significance of adequate working capital. Maintenance of adequate working capital is extremely important because of the following factors. First, adequate working capital ensures sufficient liquidity that ensures the solvency of the organization. Second, Working capital ensured prompt and on-time payments to the credit of the organization that helps to build trust and reputation. Third, lenders base their decision for approving loans based on the credit history of the organization. A good credit history can not only help an organization to get fast approvals, but also can result 
and reduced interest rates. Four, earning of profits is not a sufficient guarantee that a company pay dividends in cash. Adequate working capital to ensure that dividends are regularly paid. Lastly, a firm maintaining adequate working capital can afford to buy raw materials and other accessories as and when needed. This ensures an uninterrupted flow of production.